Hello, bleepers, how the devil are you? You find me half in and half outside of a car. My, my car, not just anybody, not just any car, it's, it is my car. I haven't just gotten into this. You shush, you, this is my car now. I'm joking, there's nobody there. Um, I've got a real taste for these £1.50 cheap sunglasses. Actually, do you know what? It's funny, for the first time in the last week, it's literally now actually, uh, I've had pretty bad hay fever. Uh, you guys that follow me on Facebook will know about that. If you, if you don't follow me on Facebook, uh, there's a link below. But you can see my face is still kind of like reddening. It's, it's been blooming horrible. No, it's only hay fever, but I can't breathe. So I've just gone and got some local honey. This is the lovely Kent honey that I just bought off a stranger. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna have go on that honey. And I did. Thing is, honey's really sticky. This little dude's stuck in the honey. And it's, it's, it's honey everywhere. Apparently that's good for her. I don't get hay fever, but this year, and after the crops are, shush you fool! Sorry, I'm still. <laughs> get myself into so much trouble. It's like a form of Tourette's, isn't it? Like vlogging and talking to yourself on a camera. Well, it is for me anyway. Is that a chemtrail? I'm not entirely sure what a chemtrail, oh, it's the moon. Anyway, so yeah, I've, it's just been, it's been really, really bad. Um, I haven't been able to breathe. I've come out to do some detecting today. <coughs> I, don't, I don't feel too badly, actually. I feel a lot better than I have done recently. Anyway, it's only a quickie. I'm gonna get out for about an hour or two hours, I think, see if I can find anything. Right, off we go. We're literally straight on and this interesting piece has come up. Got no idea what that is. It's got some nice markings on it though, isn't it? Ah, that's good, that's good. That is good, yeah, that is good. Okay, so we've got perhaps a ornate button or perhaps even a coin here, uh, which has been bent in half, as you can see, which is unfortunate. The reason I say that it's ornate is because I can see, no, maybe I can't, maybe I can't. Let me try and gently get some shape into this and uh, clean it up slightly. Yeah, no, it's coming apart. I think that it was a, orna a ornate button of some sort, but, it's just very weak and it's uh yeah it's had it that's a shame isn't it not much i can do about that really this side's completely gone there might be something that side but it'd be very very small detailing i'm afraid ah oh, shame shame and your obligatory musket ball hoorah and there you go just lying on the surface again pretty much anyway uh another button of nout AKA nothingness. Now, now I thought that was a perhaps a an old shotty shell at first. Come up that way, and I thought, ah, oh, something perhaps military. But on further inspection, I think that might be a ornate button of some sort. I'm going to give it a quick clean up. Yeah, that's absolutely what that is. It's a it's no button or a mount of some sort. Very peculiar. Uh, quite pretty though. Okay, I'm guessing that's a, yeah, it's a big bit of lead. But at some point it was maybe, I don't know, some sort of pot or something, maybe in the past. Maybe I'm being a bit over optimistic there, but it certainly had a function, didn't it? Ah, frustrating. Okay, and we have what looks like potentially a very small coin here sitting on the surface. I think it's a coin, it's not a button. Should we have a quick clean up? Now that is very unusual. It is a coin or a token of some sort. But you see, it says WW, Walter White. Look at that, WW. To WW, it wasn't it Hank when he was on the toilet. He finally figured it out. Not via this coin, unfortunately. That is interesting, I'll give it a clean up. It's definitely got markings around the side there as well, as you can see, just about. Very, very interesting. Ye olde nail there with a, a rove, still on the end of it by the looks of things. Ye olde, ye olde. Looks a bit like a mushroom there, doesn't it? A really bad mushroom, but yep, there you go. 
Well, I just saw an awesome piece of pottery to go towards my pottery hat. It's coming on well, it's coming on well. And I've just got a target right there, literally sitting on the surface. Looks like it's possibly a military button of some sort. I think it probably is, you know. I'm going to give that a quick clean up. Yes, that absolutely is a military button. But regiment, I've got no idea. If anybody can help there, that'd be really, really appreciated. It's a very odd one, you know. I can't see any like typical lions and shields and things. Very strange, actually. Don't really recognize anything on there at all. If anybody can help, that'd be really appreciated. And a button of absolute nothingness. Whoa, look at that strap end. That is a beauty. Oh my God. That's medieval, that is. That's a medieval strap end. Well, it might not be. But it's definitely a strap end. Look, you can see the two holes. Hold on, let me try and get a little bit more definition. One sec. There you go. That's a little beauty, that is. I like it. Well, I've got no idea what one of them is, but it is definitely one of them, whatever one of them is. It's like a little spaceship. I don't think it is, though. Not a clue. Hmm. Yes. Woo! And it's a little hammered. It's a hammered. Yes. Right, okay, so it's a long cross of some sort, and I've got no idea. I'm gonna give it a quick clean up. Oh man, I have been doing really well recently. That is amazing. Oh yes, that is a little beauty. Got no idea what it was. Is I'd go Lizzie Penny, but I'm not too sure about the back. If not James of some sort. Anybody? Oh yes, yeah, really nice. Just gently bent that little bit back into place, gently warmed it up a little bit between my fingers and then just pried it slowly. I wouldn't recommend anybody else doing that. Um, but it's turned out really, really good for me. And that is a beauty and I'm happy because I love hammered coins. Yes! And a rather splatted thimble there. Most of this stuff just sitting on the surface, crazy. Crazy day! Yes! Now that was a thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable two hours. Hammered, medieval strap ends, um, loads of other things as well. Well, bit, bits of small things, but things. But the coolest thing about that is that I just met someone who um, I've kind of been back and forth in for, for years now. It's nice to actually put a name to a face, uh, Bill Gozzi. Um, it was good meeting you today, dude and we will go out detecting soon, uh, hopefully when we can. All in all, a fantastically pleasant afternoon, couple of hours. Pew! I've stopped doing the um, um, ranking finds thing. It just seemed like such a good idea at the time. <laughs> it's just so boring, isn't it? It's so boring. And it's kind of subjective as well. And I know that's the point of it, it is subjective. But it's like, I think that if I continue to do that for another 10 or so videos, people are just going to be like, yeah, we know a musket ball is this and this. And it just, I just, I just, yeah, it's, I, don't, I just don't, it doesn't feel right in my gutty wires. And it doesn't really mean anything anyway. Anyway, my friends, that is a big old track door. There he goes, look, in the background. Focus, you fool! It's not going to focus. It looks like heaven back there, doesn't it? In my back window, heaven. Don't go through there, you'll die. Anyway, my friends, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.